Francisco at 6 tonight. It's been a challenging year for the Catholic Church in Rhode Island. This summer, the diocese released a list of clergy who have been credi credibly accused of sexual abuse. And another scandal rocked the town of Bristol. A well-known figure there who worked for the local parish was accused of child molestation. Rhode Island's Catholic leader was in our studios today for a taping of Newsmakers. Eyewitness News reporter and Newsmakers co-host Ted Nisi is here now with a recap. In our annual pre-Christmas interview with Bishop Thomas Tobin, we asked about both of this year's high-profile abuse stories in Rhode Island. This was the first time he's spoken publicly about the Bristol case. In a Boston Globe investigation this summer, several people accused a well-known Bristol man, David Barboza, of molesting them years ago. Barboza has never been charged with a crime, but is the subject of a civil suit. He has maintained his innocence. Why didn't the church take action? Mm -hmm. I can't say too much about that because, frankly, I don't remember all the details. The Globe reported Barboza worked as an administrator at St. Mary's in Bristol. Files indicate the church was aware of the allegations but didn't take action. Fundamentally, do you feel like the church owes that community an apology? Well, I think any time there's, there's uh, an expression or some act of sexual abuse, we want to apologize for that and be very sorry for whatever part we may have played in. Also over the summer, the diocese released a list of clergy credibly accused of child sex abuse since 1950. But now a former priest is suing the diocese for putting his name on that list. I think all the individuals or most of the individuals on the list were certainly aware that the list was coming. I'm you know, very comfortable with the way the list was handled. It's, it's never perfect, of course, and it's a difficult exercise for everybody. Tobin says despite real challenges, he also sees bright spots in the local church, such as parishioners' generosity toward its $50 million capital campaign. Tobin says he expects to meet that fundraising goal before the end of this year. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.